Hey everybody, in this DIY video, I'm going to show you how I recreated this life-size doll look like the one from the Disney movie. Stay tuned. Make it work me, yeah, make it work me, yeah. Make it work me, yeah, make it work me, yeah. From shoes to shirts to skirts to hats, you give her the work, she gon' send it right back. You know she do a thing with the DIY, and if you're looking for the best, it's me every time. Make it work me, yeah, make it work me, yeah. Make it work me, yeah, make it work me, yeah. Okay, so one Disney movie that definitely doesn't get enough credit is Life Size with Tyra Banks and Lindsay Lohan. And so for Halloween this year, I'm recreating that look complete with the Life Size doll box. First things first, the dress. I went to my local Goodwill and found the perfect, I mean the perfect dress. And y'all, it was only $4.49. I could not believe this. I also grabbed this really cheap floral top that I'm gonna use for that little side accent piece that's on Tyra's dress. Now, when I got home and tried this thing on, I actually loved how it fit, so I didn't wanna make any permanent changes. Instead, I'm just tucking the straps into the top of a strapless bra. And there you have it, the top of the dress is done, nice and neat. And now for that little floral accent, I figured out where I was going to place it and then lightly attached it onto the dress using a needle and thread. And the dress is complete. Yes, I know I added the accent on the wrong side. I don't even remember why I put it on that side instead of the other side, but it's okay. I still love how it looks. So now let's move on to the box. I considered a few different options for the box before I settled on using poster boards from the Dollar Tree. To make sure the box would be nice and sturdy, the first thing I did was use hot glue to double the layers of each board. I did not want this thing to be flimsy. Once the boards were doubled up, I cut some of the boards down a little bit to make sure that the box is gonna be the correct height, just slightly taller than me. I used the hot glue to construct the box. A few parts were tricky, but overall it was pretty easy. And of course I had my trusty assistant Banks to make sure everything was running smoothly. He approves. Overall, I ended up using 19 boards total. I may have been able to get away with just using a single layer of the boards, but I felt like it was a lot sturdier with a double layer. And that's it, the box was looking so good and I even considered leaving it white, but I had to stay true to the movie poster, so I took it outside to my balcony and I spray painted it gold. Looking back, I don't know if I would have used spray paint again because it was a little messy, but overall it still came out really good. And last but not least, the doll. I used some scrap fabric pieces to create the same exact dress for the doll, and then I just added her accessories. Then of course I had to make the matching box, so I used pieces left over from my life size box hot glued them together, and then spray painted that baby gold. And that's it. It's time for the final reveal. Here it is, y'all. The final look really came together so well. I'm just obsessed with how this came out. I think it looks so good. It was budget friendly, it was easy, and just so much fun to make. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Make sure you comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see next and uh, follow me on TikTok to see more of these little videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.